So I am making country apple with my lye water's already in here and my oils are in here. So let's get started. Okay, so where to start for a beginner was the question. Mm -hmm. I would do a simple soap, something that is not complicated, like unscented, that kind of thing. And it's super easy. And what you do to start is, um, so I have my oils and my lye all in here and you just stick blend it. to just do this without colors and scent you could just pour this into your mold and you're done let it sit for 24 hours unmold it cut it then let it sit for four weeks to cure and that's it so making unscented soap is really simple now I am going to make one that has several different colors and swirls and things so that's why I am going to continue with um, a little bit more here. All right. Um, and we do have uh, how to do soap for beginners. Yes, <laughs> my how to make soap for beginners e-course. Ellie will put a link in there for you. Really, I explain every every process really well. Okay, so I am making country apple. So I am going to use. Um, I'm going to use red, um, yellow, and green for my, <clears throat> and white for my colors. Okay, so here's my white already mixed up. I had extra left. Still skipping a lot. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I just, I... There's nothing I can do about it for today, except yell at my internet company, but I can't do that till I'm done with the show. Okay, so here's my green, and I just messed up. Oh, man, Tara. I was going to use a little bit of green for piping, but I didn't put enough in there. And my red. And then my yellow here. Where can you buy lye? You can buy lye at the hardware store. It's drain cleaner. Just look for 100% lye. It's usually about $5 a bottle. You can get, oh, two or three two pound loaves out of it. Um, so I'm going to see if I can take a little bit of my white here and add it to my green. Just give me a tad more. Do you have an ingredient list? Yes, my ingredients are in my e-course and then I also have a recipe on my website it's how to make beginners um, olive oil soap <clears throat> lightest colors and work your way around and then you don't have to wash your stick blender and then also do colors that work together so like we know yellow goes into green so then I'm gonna do my green next So glad it's monetized again. Put it in there, will ya? So Bandana did a did a review on my how to make meatballs in my dining on a dine cookbook. Um, go check out her channel. She did a great review on my 
on her channel and me. Okay. Oh no, some green got in there. Ah! No, 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 no. You will not ruin my soap. Okay, just stir that in the green. Okay, so now, let me take my mold here. Mm, here we go. And I'm gonna pour in some white. I'm just gonna do a drop swirl for this one, saving the rest of this white to pipe the top. Then, if they start getting hard up, hard on you, go ahead and just mix them up again. Okay, and then I'm just gonna drop in my yellow. Can you use a food processor or stain mixer? No, it does not mix it correctly. <clears throat> Julie said fragrance. Oh no, my fragrance. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so. <sighs> All right, let's see, what am I gonna do? All right, I'm gonna pour. All right, there we go. And that'll leave some white in my bowl. One, two, three, four, So now my white is sort of yellow. All right, let's find my yellow. Oh man, I hate these bags. They really irritate me. I have new bottles that I'm putting all of my colors in because I just cannot stand using these bags. Okay. I know, Donna. I keep forgetting to set it in my bowl too. Okay, so now, let me mix this up. Nope, my mixer's got red on it, so I'm not gonna do that. Still gonna be okay, so this isn't going to get yellow because there's white in it. Oh well, so goes life. Okay, so here we go. Pouring it back in. <clears throat> Man, that makes me so mad. I do that all the time. Chalene says now you'll have the Portuguese flag. <laughs> the Portuguese flag? I never thought about that. Okay, well there you go. <clears throat> all right, so I have to wash my hands because I got oil all over them. Okay, so now my green, mix my fragrance in, get it more fluid again. Um, it's doing good. Okay, so pouring in my green and then my red. Why did you have to put fragrance in all of it? Can you have just done it in some of the colors? I could have done that, yes. But because there was so much white and yellow in there, it wouldn't have been very strong. So that's all right, it'll work. <clears throat> okay, so now. What is the fragrance of choice? My fragrance is country apple. And it smells really delicious. Yummy. Did you cut the camera soap on the video? 
I did, and it is right here. Um, there we go. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna take and swirl this. Get the bandana said, you got this. You're the queen of make work. <laughs> Thank you, bandana. <laughs> All right, now, I'm pounding it to get the air bubbles out, and now you can see how my sides are all sloppy. I am running a knife down to make my sides um, clean. Chalonet says you have great complexion. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Some days I'm not so sure about myself. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to wipe this off a little bit more just because I made such a huge mess. Oh. Okay. And then wipe off my knife and go again. Actually, I'm liking those colors. They look really pretty. Okay, so there we go again. All right, so now here's my white. Let me stir in my fragrance. Okay, so this is still really thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit up while I work with my other um, soap, but let me get my green in my bag. <coughs> First. Thank you guys. Okay, so I think I left a little too much green now, but oh well. Life. Okay, so I'm getting it in my bag so that it will set up because I'm gonna I would gonna, I'm gonna attempt to pipe little leaves on the top also, but I'm gonna try. Susan, is this live? Yes, I am live right now. As long as my internet keeps going, we're having issues. Tammy's. Go ahead. Tammy Lynn said that's why I just left me. I don't know what the punch is. I'm always looking up. And you feel, feel so good. Well, thank you. Did you guys see our almost house fire last night on the show? That, that was hilarious. Oh, man. Wouldn't I just take the cake if one day I burn that house line? Okay, so I'm setting that to the side. I'm going to go ahead and fill this one, even though it's really liquidy, and let it start setting up. Hello! Thank you for joining me today. <clears throat> okay, now let me get this scrape down. Hmm. Wow, this is really fluid. I may have to reduce my water some more. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh! Oh, missed. Man. <sighs> oh, okay. So, I now have a great big soap mess. Can you get me my scraper out of there? Out of there, the scraper. Flat scraper isn't in here. <clears throat> this should be by this should be just right there by the rolling pin. My flat scraper is missing. Okay. Somebody didn't put out my scraper where it belongs. Um okay. Now let's just do this. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is a oh boy. I should have known today when I dumped coffee all over the kitchen. <laughs> This was going to be one of those days. Okay. So, 
This is going to be a boatload of fun to pipe. All right, so I'm setting this to the side and hoping it will set up on my country apple right now. Are those pink guns and are those toy guns? Those are pink guns and they are soap guns that I used a ice mold to make. Okay, so let's see if my piping, can you see me? Okay. <laughs> nope, my piping is still very liquid. Okay, so my titanium dioxide must have liquefied it somehow. It is one o'clock here. Um, <coughs> uh, they do the show at 4.30 Mountain if that's what... Um... Okay, there we go. We're done with that. Uh, uh, so the they do a sh like live show on their website, Living in a Dime? Yes. That, that's what it... What's that? Um, <laughs> yes. We do live cooking shows on Facebook and YouTube on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4.30 Mountain. Um, so my cookbook, Dining on a Dime, that's our main business. This is my hobby, but everyone liked watching me make soap, so I thought, well, I'll just keep letting them watch me make it. Now, this is not setting up at all, so I decided not to pipe it, as you can tell by my throwing it in there, okay. So now, <clears throat> gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. So, all right, so let me, now, and scrape my edges. Um, Am I gone again? Like the video is completely fine. Okay. Well, I'm doing this for myself then, that's fine. All right, let me see. So my green did set up, maybe, correctly? Okay, it's a yes. Um, I think, okay. So my green is good. Let me see if I can get these apples in here to stay. There's one. There's one. Let me wash my hands. I've got soap all over them. Donna said, absolutely fascinating to see this. I've done glycerin only. Yay! Thank you for watching me. All right, so let me get my apples in here. Did I say glitter? Oh, glitter! Oh, 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 oh! I forgot my glitter. You're right. Okay, so let me spray it. So now my apples. I got an apple. Four. <laughs> Sharon says she loves the apples. Six. Thank you. Here they are up close. If you want to see them. Ah! Oops, I dropped it. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, what are you spraying it with? 12, I sprayed it with rubbing alcohol to keep soda ash from forming. And soda ash is not harmful, it just discolors your soap, but you can steam it off with a steamer. Okay, so now once again, I got these two close, yes. Do you make the soaps for the top or bite? I make them. Sorry guys on the internet. I don't know if you can hear us or not. <laughs> Looks yeah. like it's stopping again. Our internet is messing up. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and pipe little um, leaves. Ugh, it's not it's set up too much. Okay. Jamie says she's being closed captioning for us while scraping. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> oh, now my, okay, so my white didn't set up, but now my, green is too set up. Joanne says she loves the apples. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Now I got it working again. 
What are the little apples on top for? Just for decoration? Just for decoration, but they are soap also. So the whole bar is usable. India said, the one, the one that does my jam. Thank you, India. Okay, man, this is really hard. There, maybe that's getting out. Okay. So I've got a bunch more left, so I think just going to go through and put a bunch of leaves on the top here. Just a couple of little pieces. I don't like those little flippies. Mm, there. Okay. All right. And this is where my cake decorating class paid off. <laughs> when my kids were little, I needed to get out of the house to save my sanity, so I took a cake decorating class. I really liked it. Did you put rubbing alcohol on the other side? I did not because it's a hot process and so it's already soap so it will not form soda ash which is a perk. Soda ash is not harmful it just discolors like a white ashy color but you can steam it off with a steamer or a tea kettle. Um, yeah you don't have to worry about it. All right, so let's see, I still have a full bunch of soap left, so let's just pipe it all along the whole top here. Man said, do you guys want me to sing during those parts? Uh, please, no mother. <laughs> Actually, mom, speaking of that, I thought for Living on a Dime, when you come back, we should have a Christmas caroling show. What do you guys think? Okay, BJ and Ellie aren't into that, but I think we should. Okay, we'll have David and Jack. We can still force them to do things. We can torture David and Jack with Christmas caroling. Nobody sings Christmas carols anymore, and it really makes me mad. Like, church doesn't. And we do go to this Christmas caroling thing they have here in town, and they sing them. But even they've started cutting back on the Christmas carols, and I'm like, stop yapping and start singing. That's my theory. So, anyway... Okay, this is really hurting my hands. So, I think I'm going to be done. <clears throat> yeah, Ellie's going to put where you can buy these, my Etsy store, on again for you. And um, my How to Make Soap for Beginners e-course. You put them both on there. Um... And then I'm going to stick this under a box with a blanket and let it gel to make the colors more vibrant. I think it makes them more vibrant. I don't know if it really, I don't know. I can't tell if it makes a difference for me or not. Some people do and some people don't, but that's what I do. And um, fill in these last little holes here. And then I'm going to come back and cut this tomorrow live. 430 Mountain. At oh, Aunt Grammy says my 17-year-old niece has asked for cookbooks. I think yours would be perfect for her. Yay! <clears throat> there you go. Addicted Prepper is asking how long will we be offering free shipping on it? Uh, so, I don't know. What day did we decide? 5th. So it's Tuesday, December 5th. December 5th? Yep. Is that what we ended up deciding? Yep. Because the day you originally said was a Sunday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So we try to run our sales so that the people who have... You know, like Social Security money coming in and that kind of thing, that they will get that in and can order before our sale is over. This one is Country Apple. Backwards Reese is asking you to play Flight of the Bumblebee. <laughs> it's like a really fast song. <laughs> <laughs> that would be way too fast. That would um, be crazy fast, wouldn't it? <laughs> my fingers would have to be the flash to do that. <laughs> Your fingers would be the flash to do that? 
Oh. That's and funny. Brown says my cat is old now. She doesn't anymore, but she ate everything when she was young, even chewed through a cable TV cord. <sighs> wow, you know, Emily's cat <clears throat> chewed through a high, uh, high voltage line on his um, electric system downstairs, but somehow didn't get hurt. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, wait, did I say that? Oops. <laughs> Uh, wow, Judy says, had my birthday last week. Finally got my book from my kids as my gift. I Yay! have lots of recipes bookmarked to try. That's great. So this country apple is going to ship on December 15th. I ship my soaps priority mail so they will get there in time for Christmas. But everything else I am shipping as it is finished curing. You get an Etsy notice saying that it's been shipped. And... Um, so if you haven't received that yet, it's still curing. I have another batch going out, uh, in the next couple of days that we're going to get, that we're getting ready to wrap up and you should tell them, you should tell them Shirley's story. Oh man. <laughs> Our poor so, friend. So my friend from church, I got her into soap making and she just loves it. And she called me yesterday, totally freaking out. I mean, she was totally freaking out. I'm like, what happened? She said, oh. And she's pretty mellow too. She's usually, pre she has eight kids, so she's usually pretty mellow. mellow. And uh, <clears throat> she, um, we have our background music here. <laughs> And Better be careful. <laughs> I was going to say, are they going to block us? We'll talk about our Christmas video that we tried and failed once again in just a minute. But anyway, she called me, totally freaked out. She said, I went and poured my lye into my oils, my lye water into my oils, and it just started bubbling all over. And she said, I didn't even get a couple of tablespoons in, and it was just spewing and spewing. And I was like, okay. I had never heard of that. I have read and watched thousands of videos, articles on soap making. And I never have heard of anything like that. And I was like, what in the world? And, <clears throat> but it sounded like something was too hot. She's like, no, I had it at 200 degrees like you told me. I'm like, okay. So I called Donna and I called Jamie and I'm like, have you guys ever heard of this happening? She swears she had it at 200 degrees and um, <clears throat> we don't, I can't figure out what happened. So she was all flustered and I posted on a soap forum, have you guys ever heard of this? You know, because I couldn't find any information to figure out what the problem was. And so my friend lives out in the country on a septic tank. So she brought all of her supplies over here so we could put it down our drain so that it wouldn't ruin their, well, not really ruin, but just not mess up the bacteria in their um, septic tank. And so she was pretty shook up. She's like, I just don't know if I want to ever make soap again. I don't know. She said, but I made so many batches last year and I did such a great job. So I said, well, take my candy thermometer and go and measure your digital thermometer and see if it's incorrect. I personally have never had my digital thermometer be wrong, but several people have said that their digital thermometers haven't quite been on track. Mine have always been correct, and I recheck them every now and then. <clears throat> so she gets home and she says, um, I figured out the problem. I said, oh, good. I said, what happened? She said, my thermometer was set at Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. So she was soaping at 392 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. That's a lot. That is, you don't want to do that. It looks it's like close. double the temperature yeah. it's supposed to be. You don't want to do that. <laughs> <clears throat> so make sure when you're soaping, your thermometer is set at Fahrenheit and not Celsius, unless you live in a country where you're using Celsius. All right, there is my country apple. Let me do my outro. Please like, subscribe. Oh, well, that didn't do very good. Please like, subscribe, and share. And visit us at livingonadime.com. Okay, now for the next soap.